Do, 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 do. I think I'm live. Cool. All right, cool. It's live. We'll give it a couple minutes. And uh, that way, uh, if anyone wants to watch, they can get into the chat and uh, watch away. Hi, guys. Good morning. It's Monday, May 6th. May 5th? No, May 6th. 2019. If you're watching this later, this was recorded live on YouTube. We are the Mummy and the Monkey on YouTube. Uh, we are horror hosts and resellers. We also have a Mummy and the Monkey fan page on Facebook. You could check us out on The Mummy and The Monkey on Facebook. And Friday nights we have live horror film uh, movie shows, similar to, if you remember, Elvira or Mystery Science Theater. You might dig it. And back in the day, every city had their own horror film host. And um, I wanted to show some solds that I sold over the weekend on eBay. So I'm down here in the eBay dungeon. And uh, one of them is really, really creepy. So I'm going to show that really, really creepy thing later. I'll save the best for last. But I wanted to show some things that sold over the weekend. The other stuff is kind of like regular. So this will build up to the one big creepy thing. Sold a creepy thing on eBay. And if you guys like our videos, just remember to hit the little like button. Remember to click subscribe and click the little bell for updates. That way you'll know, you know, anytime we go live or anytime we upload something new. So we do want to upload some new videos. We're kind of like a little behind on that. But let's start with this. This is a 1950s dress that I sold online. I picked this up at an estate sale for like 50 cents or a dollar. Gosh, almost two years ago. Almost two years ago. It, sometimes things take a long time to sell. I had this in the brick and mortar shop for a long time and no one wanted it. It's a pink, like polka dot, lightweight, frilly 1950s dress. And um, finally, someone bought it over the weekend. I had it for 50 or best offer and someone offered me 25 and because I had it listed for a while, I'm just like, okay, fine, 25. So it's getting a new home and I'm going to pack that up. Just putting it, so I have it in a baggie and then I'm going to double bag it to protect it. Yeah, good morning, Bill. Yeah, an early show, an early show. I'm just going to show some solds and I have one really creepy item that sold, so I'll lead up to that. And if you guys missed the live feed, you can always watch it later. And, uh, okay, so this is a lot of three. They're from 2001 when they remade Masters of the Universe. They tried to bring back He-Man. And um, it didn't really last that long. So these are three He-Men. They're opened out of the box, so they're called loose figures. So I put them all three together for $12. I think I paid two bucks for them maybe three bucks they were in a baggie full of different toys it was like a miscellaneous baggie from a thrift store so yeah those guys sold for 12 bucks they're getting a home all three he-men and then the next item this is really cool this is a vintage um milk bottle carrier like a milk bottle carrier it just holds two and the milk bottle here, it's one quart, it's a glass milk bottle, and it says the Lawson Milk Company, Akron, Ohio. So that's pretty sweet. I had this on auction, and I think it went for $18. I paid $10 for this, and another milk bottle that's still on my eBay store. And this one's still on the eBay store, Dolly Madison Quality Ice Cream. So there's the label. And it has Cleveland, Ohio, and uh, Colorado listed. But it has a nice label on it. It's a nice retro milk bottle. And this carrier is way cute. But I decided to piece them out. So um, this is still listed. I think I have it buy it now for $29.99. And this sold for $18 with the little carrier. I guess the carriers you can sell separately, but... It looks like the ones that are really selling are the ones that can hold four or six milk bottles. This one just holds two. So I'm going to pack that up really, really good to protect the glass. Another, um, okay, and we'll go on to this stuff. I sold four 
pairs of shoes. Four pairs of shoes. This pair is a pair of Keds. They sold for $18. They look brand new. They're called Keds Ortholite. So they're more of like a comfortable walking shoe, I guess. And these look like they're slip-ons, you know, for summer or spring. But they're cute. They're like a purple, like, ladies shoe. Those sold for $18. I think I paid 3 or 4 for them. So, you know, nothing super crazy, but they sold. And I do sell shoes, shoes and purses, you know, the necessities. And it's not always creepy stuff. I do have that one creepy thing I'm going to show later. This next pair of shoes, they're made by Cole Hahn. And they're a nice ladies patent leather slip-on shoe. These sold for $20. I paid $4 for them at a secondhand store. I had these on Poshmark for months. I had them listed on Poshmark. No one bought them. This is why I hate Poshmark. I put them on eBay and they sell in a few weeks. So these are all my eBay sales. The next pair of shoes, these were in a video we had last week. This is a pair of coach shoes. They're leather strappy sandals. They're platforms. And the name of this is called Jazlyn. Coach Jazlyn. And I paid um, $15.99 for these. They had uh, I had a 28% off coupon. So it was 20% off of that. And they did sell for $39. So that, that's a good flip. $39. You know, it sold made a little bit on it so that's what matters so there's that the last pair of shoes because I had four pairs total that sold Franco Sarto Franco Sarto brand and they're leather they're like a light gold shiny pair of uh, sandals and the name on this one is Falco Franco Sarto Falco shoes they sold for $24 and I think I paid about four dollars for them so there's that. Okay, and now I'm going to show the creepy thing that's sold. Are you guys ready? This is the creepy thing. So I, I bought this at an estate sale with a few other things. So the other stuff is still listed. And then, well, there were two creepy dolls. So let me show both of them. I bought these two creepy dolls. And I bought some clothing pieces, all for $10, at an estate sale. The clothing pieces I have yet to list, but I know they will sell because they're good brands. They should sell for maybe $10 a piece. I paid $10 for everything. I was hoping this baby doll would sell for more. This is a really creepy vintage baby doll. And it says Denmark on the back. With a little windmill. Now the body feels like plastic, but the head feels like celluloid. And it has rooted eyelashes. It has this creepy face. And um, I put it on auction. And it sold for $26. I was hoping it would sell for more because it had a lot of watchers on it. I had like 10 watchers. I did share this baby doll auction on Facebook. So I'm wondering maybe the Facebook people were just watching it and didn't want to bid. But it did sell. And it is, it is really creepy. Super, super creepy. Would you guys want this baby doll in your house? Would you be afraid of it? It probably moves around the house while you're sleeping. Ah! So, there's my eBay sales. Um, what creepy things have you sold? Is there anything creepy that you found at a sale? Drop it in the comments below. Remember to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Creepy baby says, hello. Oh, its hand went backwards. That's really creepy. Ah! All right, thanks for watching, guys. There'll be more from us, and we'll see you Friday on Facebook.com slash The Mummy and The Monkey. Bye!